The video I'm making now is dedicated to this person you're looking at on the screen right now. That, if you're not aware of it, is a piece of machinery on the back end there that makes it to where you can grab a pipe off of a shelf, make sure it's at least two feet, two inches long, and you can use it for what it looks like. And there's some useful information, but that's the information I could glean from it. This guy went out of his way to avoid showing any of that data. Wouldn't explain how he did any of these things. Didn't explain how to get things to work a specific way. I'm doing videos where I explain how to do flare guns because it's the same rules. If you want to over-design a flare gun to be safe, that's not a problem. Except for the ATF suddenly having a problem with their flare guns. So anyway, I found a link, uh, a place where all of his videos went. He was um, essentially punished by YouTube and the powers that be. No, that's not Obama. It's uh, the NRA and all the companies that want to sell you an expensive rifle. That gun he's holding is not actually as effective as a real shotgun, obviously. Because if it was, that would mean you paying a lot of money for just firing one shot for fun and not throwing $1,000 into it or even $100 into it. That would mean that you avoiding paying that bill. That would, that would run the gun industry out of business. We're not always at war, and these are part of the military-industrial complex. And you know who props it up? the NRA. They need sales every year. But that's not something that he might say or Mark Servu or anything like that. Oops, wrong pet. Oh, shit, can't look at that. Let's look at this one. Yeah, that's literally a Home Depot pipe. I mean, <laughs> he, he took off the sticker, I think, that said Home Depot. Um, and, of course, it doesn't have any markings on it that we could ever interpret. Oops, I'm sorry. So, w what do we find out here? Well, um, he was showing people how to make something cheap. Poor people could make it. It would work for you to acquire food. It would be absolutely useless in a mass shooting, as someone actually found out by trying to do a mass shooting with these things. And he was able to determine something important. He did a bore obstruction video where he tried to blow up one of these things. It had half the length to it. He couldn't break it. The thing that broke, oddly enough, was that little bit on the back end that's the firing pin. It's just a piece of metal. He could have easily changed it out. But he tried really hard to destroy it. And all it did was gracefully fail. It failed in such a way it either stopped working or would keep working, but it wouldn't hurt you. Now, the other thing about it is, is if you layer multiple tubes inside of it, you know, to do other types of bullets with the same arrangement, you've only bought one gun body. You only have one serial number to register. And the rest of them are just inserts to make it to where you can do it. And all you have to do is make sure that that one main pipe there is two feet, two inches long, 26 inches long, and that's it. It's street legal, there's no law against it, and nobody could ever say this is an assault weapon. They could just say that they don't want it to be available, and they don't want people being taught how to do it. Not because of it being an ITAR violation, international trafficking of arms and stuff and recreation, but because it would mean that you wouldn't be paying money into large companies that really don't need your money for your Barbie doll-like AR-15s. Yeah, he made, I'm going to give a link to the videos, he showed you how to make anything you want, and it wouldn't cost much. You'd have to do anywhere from what I tell people to do, which is really, really research things heavily, it's cheaper that way, and then build things very carefully, and start off very, very weak and not able to hurt you. And also, deliberately make things too weak to trust, so you won't ever trust them, and test them to destruction like he did in the video, and see where the failures are, and reinforce them at the failure points. I was looking for that damn video because I don't want to look up anybody else doing it. You know what I found? Other people who did the same videos were excluded or banned. Because banning people seems to be the most important thing for YouTube to do. And they only do it if you show them, show people how to do this cheaply and safely. This guy got into it probably because somebody got hurt in his family or a relative, you know, a friend, somebody nearby. And one of his first things he told people is, I'm going to do all the stupid stuff that you're thinking of doing and let you watch so that you vicariously will do them through me and won't do them yourself and get hurt. And I've actually said that in a video, but not in so many words. I tried to find his original video for that. Anyway, I found it on archive.org. I'm gonna leave the link below and you can watch all the videos. I'm recommending, in fact, I'm demanding everybody watch these videos. Because you start getting a sense as you look through the videos. His progression from being interested in the subject to getting way too good at it for some people's liking. 
I don't support the ATF. I don't support the gun industry, the military industrial complex. I don't support any system that would make it to where you politicize a human right. Yes, both sides. No, 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 it's the NRA mostly. They stopped being the National Rifleman's Associated and, start, and started being the national, the United States um, uh, uh, advocacy group to make sure that guns are harder to get. And you have gun buybacks things and, and gun... Run. You notice who keeps telling you to go buy more 22 ammo and saying that there's a shortage on it so you'll spend a bunch of money at Walmart? It's not the libtards. I want to show people how to make these. I want to be like this guy. But... Gee, right about the point he actually got street legal and got the uh, ATF permits and all that, that's when they wanted to shut him down. A totally legit, authoritative source of information telling you, yeah, you can do this cheap, you don't have to spend a bunch of money. I think certain people don't like that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.